Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So good to be in the house of the Lord with each and every single one of you. I give honor to our bishop and his family. Unfortunately, he's not here. Be praying for Sister B tonight as she's not feeling well. Also give honor to Pastor Bembry and his family and to Brother Howard. Thank you, sir, for your ministry. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. I appreciate those that have served the kingdom for that long faithfully. Amen. If you'll turn with me to the book of Galatians chapter 6, we're going to begin reading, amen, in verse 7. Familiar passage of scripture, it reads, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall also uh, reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit, shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing. Everybody say, for in due season, amen, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. I'm going to title this five spot, Spring is Here. Spring is Here, amen. Lift up your voice as you're seated. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. I work at uh, Natural Lawn of America, and we just came out of our uh, winter training sessions. Um, we did aeration and seeding in the fall, and now at that point, we just came out of the season where we give it, uh, the grass time to become established or in the cool season. And during those times, we do our training learn a lot about what we're putting on lawns, what kind of weed control we're using, what kind of how much nitrogen we're putting on the lawns. And um, we learned some really interesting stuff, especially we, we particularly see with cool season grasses and uh, called tall fescue. And we have to give it time to become established in the cold season, which is why we don't put any more fertilizer or anything on it that could damage its growth. Because something that I learned, too much nitrogen on a lawn can actually promote shoot growth instead of root growth. And promoting too much shoot growth will cause the plant to collapse because the roots aren't deep enough to maintain its shoot. Amen? Just like God, when he speaks to us, sometimes we go through seasons, what we call silence. Because I went through one of those times just recently, and the Lord spoke to me and said, if I consistently put things in you, I will not be promoting your roots, but however, your promotion upward. And church, if we ever get beyond our roots in the word, if we ever reach heights that are beyond our root system, our ministries, our lives will collapse. So God takes us through those periods or winter. And I believe that this church has gone through times of winter or a cold season where it seems like there's not a whole lot of growth, but it's in those times that this church has become established. I'm so thankful for what Brother Howard preached this morning. We were in the FLC this morning, and I, I tuned in uh, when I got home. I, I listened to the beginning of it, and honestly, I'll listen to the rest later, but the beginning's all I needed to hear. If you remember, he said in the beginning, things are about to start blossoming. The Lord spoke this word to me, and it's simply this. Spring is here. Winter is over. It's time for the church to blossom. It's time for the church to thrive and to grow. We've been through periods of time right now where our roots have become established, and now it is time to grow, not just in numbers, but in anointing and power and apostolic authority. If you believe that, why don't we worship the Lord? I'm so glad winter's over. I'm thankful for the periods of time where God allows our roots to become established. But right now, I'm thankful that the church is about to blossom, that we're about to experience the greatest end-time revival that we've ever had. Unprecedented miracles, unprecedented revival and growth. Amen? In closing, I want to read one passage of Scripture that the Lord took me to when studying this, and it's Song of Solomon, starting in chapter 2, verse 11. And it reads simply, For lo, the winter is past. 
The rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, and the time of singing of birds has come, and the voice of the turtle is head heard in our land. The fig tree putteth forth her green figs, and vines with tender grape give good smell. Arise, my love, my fair one. I believe the church is, that is the Lord speaking to the church right now to arise. Now is the time. You have been given great anointing and power, and church rejoice, because winter is past. It's time for spring. It's time to go out and win souls. God has gone before you. This church has been promised growth. It's been promised revival. For the five of you that believe what I'm preaching, I appreciate it. But I wonder if the rest of us can just catch what we're saying. Promises are going to be fulfilled. God has put many promises on each and every one of you, and they're about to be claimed in the name of Jesus. 2020 is a year of growth. It's a year of blossoming. It's a year of spring. And I'm believing great and mighty things are going to happen. Rejoice and worship, O church. Amen. God bless you.